So this is a basic bank statement. And you need to understand uh, what a bank statement shows and be used to the words like credit, debit, uh, balance, and things like that. Okay. So with this bank statement, what it's showing is that on the 31st of July, uh, 2022, um, whoever it was, was paid £2,360. Um, so that comes under credit because that's amounts that are going into the account. Okay, so the account is being credited with this amount. So that's likely uh, a person's wage after tax. Uh, there's no debits there for that. And their balance has been increased. So the balance is how much they have currently in the account. And that's £3,812.15. So then the next day, the, on the 1st of August 2022, uh, they've got to pay their mortgage. And the mortgage instalment is £702. And what we need to do is we need to work out what their current balance is. Okay, And so the £702 comes under as a debit because that is an amount that is coming out. Um, that will likely be organised through a direct debit. So it just comes out automatically from the account. The same with an energy bill, um, uh, the £203.25, that's likely set up as a direct debit, uh, but the supermarket, obviously that, that will depend on how much you pay there at the supermarket, so that won't be a direct debit. Okay, So let's start calculating then. So once the mortgage has come out, how much have we got left? So we have three... 812.15 and we're going to take away 702 pounds okay so five take away zero is five one take away zero is one bring the decimal point down two take away two is zero one take away zero is one eight take away seven is one and we've got the three so we've got three thousand one hundred and ten pounds and 15 pence okay right so then on the 2nd of august uh, we've got to pay the energy bill so that's come in at 203 pound 25 now in all likelihood in an actual bill it's probably that it will have one that is separate for gas and one separate for electricity um, that that's quite common um, but you might not have gas you might just pay electricity okay it depends on uh, the house so, we've now got to subtract £203.25. So, we've got the £3,110.15, and we're going to subtract £203.25. So, 5 take away 5 is 0, 1 take away 2 I can't do, so I'm going to need to borrow 1. So, 11 take away 2 is 9. Bring the decimal point down. 9 take away 3 is 6. 0 take away 0 is 0. 1 take away 2 I can't do. So 11 take away 2 is 9. Bring the 2 down. So we're now down to £2,906.90. Okay. Right. Then... We've been to the supermarket, we've got our shopping, and that came to £49.82. So that's now got to be subtracted from my balance. So 2906.90, and we've got to take away £49.82. So 0 take away 2 I can't do, so I've got to borrow 1. 10 take away 2 is 8, 8 take away 8 is 0, 6 take away 9 I can't do. So I'm going to have to borrow 1. 16 take away 9 is 7. 9 take away 4 is 5. 8 take away 0 is 8. And the 2. And so this is £2,857.08. OK? So that is how we can start filling in the gaps in a bank statement. And you just need to understand what we mean by credit, debit, and balance.